Number 11, letter A. How strong is the attractive force between a glass rod with a 0.7 microcoulomb charge and a silk cloth with a negative 0.6 microcoulomb charge, which are 12 centimeters apart, using the approximation that they act like point charges? All right, so definitely take a look at number uh, 10. I talked about the formula in detail there and discussed it. So I'm just going to kind of run through this one, all right? So basically, though, what I will do is I draw a picture in this case. So just pretend that these are point charges. This thing is positive. All right, it's 0 0.7, 0 0.7 micro coulombs worth. And then there's this thing that's negative, right? And that's going to be negative 0 0.6 micro coulombs of charge. They're separated by a certain distance here, all right? And the distance is going to be 12 centimeters. You know we need that in meters, right? So I'm just going to do the conversion right now, 0 0.12 meters. So if this is positive, this is negative, do they attract one another or repel? Well, they attract, right? So that's why they're saying how strong is the force of attraction? Okay, if they were the same charge, then they would repel, and it would say how strong is the repulsion force? If they were both the same charge and they were saying how strong is the attractive force, well, then it'd just be a negative value, all right, because they're not attractive. So anyway, um, they shouldn't phrase it though that way. So what we have now is we have this kind of picture all right, and we realize that the force on each, you know, is going to be basically pointing toward the middle. So the force on this a positive charge is toward the right because the negative charge is pulling on it, essentially, right? And the force acting on the negative charge is to the left because the positive is pulling on it. So each of these two vectors here will have the same value. We're not going to find the force and then divide it by two or anything like that. We're going to use our formula that we developed in uh, number 10. Right, so the force of attraction or repulsion on two charged objects is going to equal the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the absolute value between the product Q1 and Q2 of the two charges divided by then the distance between them squared. So the force here is going to be equal to 8.99 times 10 to the 9th times now absolute value. I'm just going to plug in all the positive values here, okay? So uh, this is going to be 0.7 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs and then multiplied by... This is 0 0.6 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. All right. And then divide that now by uh, R. So this is going to be 0 0.12. That has to be in meters. If you want to know how I did this conversion, that's why I'm telling you to check out number 10. All right. Talked about all that in that problem. So 8.99 times 10 to the 9th multiplied by 0 0.7 times 10 to the minus 6 times 0 0.6 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 0 0.12. You got to square that. Don't forget to square it. And as I don't have the square there, and now the force is going to be equal to 0 0.262, 262. All right, let me write that a little bit, 0 0.262, and that's in terms of Newtons. All right, guys, so thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care.